Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Remember that velocity is a vector quantity that determines how quickly an object is moving and in what direction. Acceleration is then the vector quantity that tells us how velocity changes over time. So what do we mean by the term accelerating? Well, an accelerating object is gaining speed. Let's look at an example of an object that's accelerating. As we watch this car move, we see that it starts off moving slowly and then ends moving quickly. In other words, it speeds up. We show this visually by using a longer vector arrow for the ending velocity. We can also draw arrows to represent accelerations. Let's use ones with double arrowheads to distinguish them from our other vectors. This is fairly common notation you might come across in textbooks. For this case, our acceleration points in the same direction as velocity, which causes the velocity to increase. We can also say this is a positive acceleration. But what about an object that's losing speed? A decelerating object is losing speed. This time, let's look at a skydiver who has just deployed a parachute. Here we see that they start off moving quickly and then end moving slowly. In other words, they slow down. This time, our acceleration vector is directed opposite to the velocity vector. We say there is a negative acceleration. It's important to remember that whether an acceleration vector causes velocity to increase or decrease doesn't depend on whether the acceleration is directed up, down, left or right. It depends on whether it's in the same direction or the opposite direction to the velocity. So what if we have two objects that are accelerating? Will their velocities both change in the same way? Well, the greater the acceleration of an object, the faster it will gain speed. So far, we've talked a lot about the direction of acceleration, but we also need to know its magnitude and how that affects velocity. Let's look at two vehicles and see how quickly they accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour. This isn't the most scientific way of measuring acceleration, but most car manufacturers use this in their marketing as it's easy to understand and make comparisons with. The truck takes 60 seconds to accelerate to this speed, while the sports car takes only 5 seconds. This tells us that the rate that the car's speed was increasing was greater than the truck's. In other words, the car has a greater acceleration. For your exam, you'll need to be able to identify if an object is accelerating or decelerating and explain the effects the acceleration has on its velocity. You may also need to compare two objects in terms of their accelerations. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.